Hello all, in this video we are going to deal with how to identify predatory journals. Before going to the predatory journal, we should understand the functioning of the journal publication that is the role of the researcher, then the publisher and the institutions. Generally what happens is the researchers after completing the research they make it into a manuscript and they send it to the publishers where, where they do this peer review process, quality check and they decide to accept or reject and with modification they may they may publish your paper then after this paper can be accessed through institutions through money or they can send access to the subscribers if they pay money to that particular journal this is the normal functioning of a journal this was the system widely practiced before the usage of open access policy wherein institutions and readers paying money to the journals after the completion of the research once the manuscript is ready thus or the researchers will pay a minimum publication fee to the publishers then the publishers provide this manuscript to the institutions and the researchers without money so this type of publishing system is called as open access publishing. Now the predatory journals functions only for this money which is sent by the authors and they try to make money from the authors and they totally compromise the quality of the journal. And to a larger extent those kind of journals may not exist. In this video I am going to mention 10 points which will help you in identify predatory journals. To start with, as I mentioned earlier, most of the times the motto is to make money out of that publication. So the publication fee will be present. And most of the times the publications will be slightly high and they make more publications and they try to make more money. Next is the scope of the journal. When we read about the scope of the journal in the about the journal section, most of the time the scope of the journal will be wide, numerous, and unrelated to each other. When we are finding this kind of scope of the journal, then you can suspect it to be a predatory journal. Then the next is the contact information. When we look at the contact information displayed in the website, there will not be a verifiable address and the phone numbers may not be valid. Sometimes the mail which is mentioned in the journals may not exist, uh, may not have institutional email IDs. Next is the quality of publications. When we look at the quality of publications from the previously published papers in that particular journal, there will be poor or no editing present. Then there will be no concerns on the ethics, plagiarism and reporting guidelines of the particular article. Then when we look at the editorial or the review board, there will be a fake information about the editorial or review board or there may be presence of persons who are not experts in that field that indicates that journal is a predatory one. Then most importantly these predatory journals lack peer review either there will be no peer review or there will be a poor review and the absence of review makes the faster publication for the journal. Then the next there will be repeated calls for papers through mails or through phone calls. Then the next is website when we look at the website it will be poorly maintained and there will not be any issn number for the journal there will not be any doi that is digital object identifier for the each of the articles the journal displays most of the false credentials in their site and most commonly they make false claims in impact factor and indexing. These impact factors may not exist or they have their own impact factor calculations and give a fake data about the impact factor. When it comes to indexing, they may display so many indexing agencies in their website but we, when we go and look and cross check these uh, indexing agencies, these journals may not be present. Then the lastly, what will be the consequences when we go ahead with predatory journals? mostly the articles will disappear and won't appear in searches of other researchers and hence it will be least cited by the authors. As I have already mentioned, these journals have a spectrum. Not all the 10 
points which I have mentioned may be present, but most of these points may be fulfilled. It is our duty to identify the predatory journals and protect ourselves from publishing from those predatory journals. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please share to your friends. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and click bell icon. If you have any additional information about predatory journals and have feedback about my presentation, please post your views in the comment section. Thank you very much.